Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> this is Bobsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. 
A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the puke of love, that's what it is. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Glitter. I love my glitter. drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. <laughs> I peed in the lake. It was really warm. that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I love my coloring book. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? picture it's the fox i see outside my window sometimes i call him benjamin he's a really cute fox Ugh, i don't care much for foxes look i made these paper dolls myself this is kimberly and this is steven they're on a trip fighting super evils later I saw a monster in here once I showed it the finger and it never came back before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I 
shoes the stone daddy threw at me once. Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. Ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? This is Grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> You still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. It's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I did it. Mommy said she married daddy because she was expecting me. She wanted to have an abortion, but it's illegal and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica? She thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. <laughs> Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive?
Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. <laughs> That's today! Afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you've told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? sweet animals so before we continue you need to know the rules of the game Miss Fortune all right remember you will be given choices on your journey okay, choices. there is no right or wrong only consequences okay okay only consequences when you beat the game the prize of eternal happiness is yours I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. <gasps> I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now.
there's a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later, you know? When I'm broken too. <laughs> oh, red ball puppy killer. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. It says, no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Oh no, I step on Doogie Doo. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Oh, uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. All right. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right, here I go. 
Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Hey, look, a bird. Hello, bird. Oh, that was a rude bird. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? You seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. to get in trouble and I really want to dance at the party. All right then. Oh look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Ah, uh. oh, a fish. What should we do about it? Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know. <laughs> Here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. Just don't mention the puppy like we discussed earlier. Yes, okay. I'll just dance. Is answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fish. Ah, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? I don't know anything about any puppy, but I was promised a party. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead.
Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> Oh, what's this? I guess it's not finished. <laughs> Look, I made you a doggy. <laughs> not that you need one, but anyways. <laughs> Freaking birds! Thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. Ah, oh, I love the woods. With the trees, and the birds, and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh... <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. Magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Oh, 
Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. <gasps> this cave is huge. Echo. <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Are you going to do something about it? Don't fight, you adorable things. You have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. Oh, are those means? Maybe I should try one, so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. And I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. X, X, X. <laughs> Talk about crazy. Excuse me. Hold a little lady get inside. No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> uh, a 
another fun Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Squirrel spin? Hmm. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. the other side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Besides, I didn't tell mommy I went outside. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. So done, you fuck! Misfortune. What? Language. Ah, Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Voice! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mmm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on. And the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. I hope this fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Of course. Seagulls love eating fish. 
Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. I'll bury him later. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Aye, horsey, stop it. Oi. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course. Check this out. Okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. No, misfortune. When the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. 
A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? No, never. Never? Good for you. Second question, are you happy right now? Not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the price too much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish? All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. That shovel, okay. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Strangle a man. <laughs> no, I don't think this is the fish. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Nah, this is obviously a cat. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Ew, yikes forever. Nah, I don't think so. Ah, let's see. Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? There you go. I closed it. Now, nobody can die today. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Nah, too little information. Ah, 
Let's say, Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming, huh? I don't get it. Ah, no prize in here. Ah, let's say, Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming, huh? I don't get it. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in Pooh. Yeah, yikes forever. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Ugh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says... I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. It didn't! My eternal happiness! I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise Mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <laughs> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Benjamin, give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. When unloved children in darkness search, for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open, in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, 
Check out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. The game of death is what feeds... Huh? What? That looks like nonsense. Huh, really? Maybe there... Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Aha, there, that hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry, nothing bad will happen, nothing bad at all. Okay, you sound very sure, I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize, maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself, and for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, damn, I dropped it. Oh. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Myself into. She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? You sprayed fox repellent on yourself and passed out. There was quite a lot of vomit, too. Ew, yikes forever. That didn't go as I planned. <laughs> we still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo 
Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoe life. There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, uh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look familiar. What? Miss Sin, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Wait, sir! You dropped your wallet. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it the winner? Ah, uh, no win. Maybe next time. It. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. children posters so many i wonder what they're missing oh don't you worry about them i'm sure they will all turn up one day 
You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> it says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you, like, 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Ah, uh, Hey, hello? Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. Yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiri wa doko dasu ka? <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiri wa doko dasu ka? Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh. I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ew, that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. Oh, uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Wow, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. <gasps> A 
wolf. Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hello, can I get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, remember? What? Phantasmagoria. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Look, birdie mom mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear, we need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. It says, the Nam Nam Parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. Huh, mean birdie Nam Nam. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. It says, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. It says, Fuck you, Dillius. This shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied 
by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Your food. I love you. Berda, Berda. Come, Berda. Eat your food, Berda, Berda. Is your name Berda? <laughs> Berda. <laughs> Robert and Mary, are you enjoying the food? <laughs> you like it? Wow, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. There, you see? Pet the wolfie. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoying. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No. Hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You'll get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him if he was good. Mm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could write Japanese, so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. Ah, look at those sweet blushes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Look, the bear in the picture is sucking a popsicle. <laughs> 
It looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Like the Shadow Ninja Master, she never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones, you see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh look, it fits. The path to Sanar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Nobody's us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address. Like a ninja. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is red hooded little girls. That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Ah, uh, okay. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes. No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet-looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, all right. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. Do you think there could be a game there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Like 
Let a lady misfortune, the ninja lady. Little ninja lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already, I'll find it, you'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. I'll check those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Okay. It says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, ready to attack, then you shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> huh, a secret inside? Fancy. Is there a key in here? Cool, another doll. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> mm. Do I smell tea? You think we can find some information in here about the key? Sure. I don't see why not. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Oh, yeah. Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. You really surprise me. <laughs> a private shot. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Popsicle? Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Fortune, very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Come. <laughs> Only 
right at you. I'm a nice person. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, damn it. What scared him away? Why can't a little lady suspect the wolf? Oh, that was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. It says, my evil cousin's address. Fox, Cook Stegen, 15. Open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the Fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Sweet. I always wanted to go, yes! <laughs> Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great. Great. And, as usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question. Have you ever heard this question before? Yes. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? I do it all the time in school. Charlene still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. I just walk behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? Other than in ninja movies? No. <laughs> they die in funny ways in ninja movies. Don't tell mommy. I won't. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Crabbe! <laughs> what? A ticket for real? Sweet and spooky! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> A creepy clown? That's creepy. Oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? Hmm, I just have one ticket. So I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. It 
Hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now, I don't want to eat hot dogs. <gasps> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. <laughs> Check out those sweet unicorns! Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Not sure yet. I'm gonna look around more. The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. The what? Nothing. Huh, okay. Ah, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy corn. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. Uh, um. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. Happiness to Miss Fortune! <laughs> ah, much better. Oh, sweet! That haunted house must be terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Yes. All right then, have a pleasant ride. But the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath, and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. The boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. Peter? Of games here, can I play one? Oh, of 
course, you must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> I want to play a game now. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? All right. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Fancy. I... I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Oh. Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them! Okay. I'm too slow. Sorry. Sorry. Head down. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Oops. Yes, I won. Great whacking misfortune. Oh, no, I missed. Oops. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> times as you want.
Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look, what's that? A floating balloon. <laughs> Is it for me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. My luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? Hello, I'm Miss Fortune, Ramirez Hernandez. And I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you. And you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? Check those sweet rewards! A golden chocolate coin, a cool tiny hat, and a doll. Oh, sweet! Let's see what I can get. Oh, one of those dolls again. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? I like the sires. What did you choose? Nothing. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. <laughs> I know who will look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shadow! <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Want to try it again then? Okay, okay, again. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Ah, oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? <gasps> what? Oh no, too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Maybe he was flying drunk. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's car. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. It crushed. You need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. 
Well, are you ready to leave? This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by a virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you'll know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. Ah, Kraken. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking. Is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Look, I only have Rodrigo's bones. Let's see what happens. Uh... Hi, Rodrigo. Hey, Mysterious. Are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doku desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late? Every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, uh, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hate up? Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? From the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye-bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. Oh, damn it. My little foot got stuck.
What are you running away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Don't make any sudden moves. Filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Don't leave, Benjamin. Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me. He's dangerous. Stop running, please. All right. Oh. Thank you. That could have ended badly. Now watch your step. There's a bear trap up ahead. You don't want to get stuck in one of those. Hurts like hell. Who will leave a bear trap here? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this makes me think about Bubsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bubsy the Teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Let's see what this one says. It's stuck, huh? The elimination of Prime Eve will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. It's stuck, huh? The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Nothing. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Yes. Yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? I guess I can only hear you in my head. And I trust my own head, so yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying?
Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure the fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> Be brave, misfortune. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share the prize with us and everything will be fine. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Whoa, a video player. Fonsu! Let's see. <gasps> Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Maybe I can fix it. Ah, oh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? I'm just gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin Johannalius Redfox. I knew his name was Benjamin. So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. Parasite, you say? Parasite, you say? Who are the victims? What gang? Benji is afraid of the parasite. Trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. All this again? Oh, shake out Benji's stick. Hmm, yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> 
It looks like Benjamin. I like that enough, folks. <laughs> Mmm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Mmm, it definitely tastes like his fluffy paws. Mmm, delicious. Ugh, I feel weird. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> mm. <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. You can't hide the children. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Benjamin, where do you go? Oh no, is this Benjamin? There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Uh huh. Such a clever little lady. Time to use my ninja skills. Shh, what a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Huh, it's locked. A picture of a key. Interesting. 
My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. All right then, I push the button. Easy. All right, time to find Bangy. Oh. oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune, let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because... Because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. <gasps> Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, <laughs> so cute. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you said? Oh. This is really mysterious.
the parasite. Paint? I like to paint. With the what? Now I will never know. I'll take the train back home. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> Uh, I don't feel inspired. Uh. Hello, Hiro. 
I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! Tuskata! Tuskata! I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Ugh. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Ugh. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. We got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? What's that sound? Benji? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. I'm still on... I'm just talking about it. I don't know. 
This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful, fantastic, ready to... wait, what? No deal, no, no. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure, I promise you know the way. Huh, is this a new dance song? If Mr. Boy scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone! Knock, knock, who's there? 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 What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Knock, who's there? Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Ah, Stomley, teach me how to be brave. Ah! So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right, just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Hello, little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yeah. Ben 
Coming. Uh. How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to thank Benjamin. Benjamin, did you go outside? Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, where are you? I couldn't get the happiness for you. What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. somewhere else because I have nothing against it but I have to talk with my mommy first mommy I'm going to go somewhere else with Benji okay he's the fox that I like I'm a little lady you know that's what I am I guess I was your little misfortune for a while but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever.
Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? This place is really cold. Disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Fortune, that's who I am. Lady Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Why? 